Hello and welcome in another uh, achievement guide for Family Exorcist uh, Chain. This time I'll show you how to do mummified magics. Defeat 9 Master Tamers, uh, blah blah blah, with magic 25 level packs. As you can see, I did them all and I recorded them all. Hardest of them all was Barrel. So much RNG was involved there, I tried so many times and I got almost sick of it. I was about to skip it. Um, I was surely I would skip to uh, Dunley. However, I tried one more time after trying initial and it went awesome. It's easy, easier than I expected, so I just recorded it as well. Barrel, Rodcut wasn't that bad. Um, Pharaoh made uh, a lot of problems. Entire Bastion was easy, so I had fun with mummified magics this time. Really, I I had fun because pets, magic pets, are nice. Some new mechanics I used, like illuminate. I never s illuminate wish and stuff like that. So I really had fun, and I hope you will have fun as well because it's 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 pleasure to do it this time around it's pleasure i'm pretty sure aquatic gonna be hell but for now magic is awesome and yeah without without you know talking more i just wish you good luck have fun enjoy video and good luck with the achievement bye Igor, we will defeat Igor with Toxic Wastelink, with Ustach, Corrosion and Acidic Goo, Eye of Corruption with Chaos Beam, Eye Blast and Life Exchange, and Hungering Claw with Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom and Cold Darkness. We start with Acidic Goo. Corrosion and Ustach. Both pets should die. We bring Eye of Corruption and use Chaos Beam. Chaos Beam again. That crit never happened, but okay. And Chaos Beam again. Now we use Life Exchange. You should heal. Yep. Life Exchange is super strong. And I Blast. And Chaos Beam. To kill us. And we finish him with Shadow Shock. Now Rocco comes in and starts being annoying, so we Curse of Doom. Next we use Cold Darkness. With Cold Darkness there is a little annoying thing. Doom can miss because it has chance to miss or we can miss which complicates stuff, but yeah, it's not many pets can deal with Rocco anyway Now we use Shadow Shock And we spam Shadow Shock Until he dies which happens now Yep. Yoo-hoo! Let's beat Zola! Okay, to defeat Zola we'll use Abyssius with Immolation, Flamethrower Volcano, Transmutant with uh, Transmute Enemy to uh, On Fire, Brain Power, 
Life Exchange, Enchanted Cauldron with Burn, Heat Up, Whirlpool. Third pet doesn't really matter that much, but yeah, let's do it. Back to work. We start with Volcano. Flamethrower. Immolation. And flamethrower once again. A volcano can cause uh, some stuns, so pets will swap a little bit, but it doesn't matter that much. We spam flamethrower now. He will get swapped now. Yep. Slasher comes in. We use him flamethrower twice. And volcano at the end. And flamethrower again. We take a uh, transmutant and use enemy on f to on fire. And again, unless we won't get the chance, like here. Okay. Um. Easy. We use enemy to on fire, and again, now we can use the life exchange. Oh, twice crit, yeah, sometimes happen, doesn't matter that much, we just use burn. And burn again. Yeah, we could try like uh, extra planting instead, whirlpool. Plating, extra plating, but I mean, I got unlucky with swaps, I got unlucky with crits, but in the end, it didn't really that matter. I could use heal, up to you, third pet, up to you, unless, uh, but it has to have a one skill that deals with the uh, mechanicals. Rest, like you saw, easy. Rodgard. To defeat Rodgard, we need Enchanted Lantern with Illuminate, Soul Ward, and Beam, I guess. It's this the this ability doesn't matter that much. Hygel Wisp with Ar with Arcane Blast, Evanescence, and a Wish. An accursed hexer with Arcane Blast, Drain Blood, and Weakness. Fight is a little bit long, but it's it's fun, I guess. Someone likes that. Okay, we start with Illuminate. And we swap to Hydro Wisp. We use Wish. Then Evanescence. And we spam Arcane Blast. Until Wish is off cooldown, which should happen when we kill his first half. 
I mean, we trigger the undead thing. Now we use Wish. And Evanescence. He missed his Curse of Doom, so we are safe. And we can spam Arcane Blast. And now we use Evanescence and Arcane Blast and Arcane Blast once again. He explode. We don't want to kill him because that would be a problem. Now we bring I bring Lantern and use Soul Ward. Illuminate to get off weather and beam. Hexer comes in, so we use weakness. Now we use drain blood. Oh, that's so powerful. And weakness. And Arcane Blast. Weakness again. And it's done. Rodgard has been defeated. Let's go for Glitter Dust. To defeat him, we use Sanctum Cub with Leap, Dodge, and Pounce, Eye of Corruption with Chaos Beam, Eye Blast, Life Exchange, and Eye of Observation with Arcane Blast, Lens Flare, and Blink Strike. We start with Leap. Leap again. Dodge. Leap and pounce. Now we use leap, leap. If we didn't get stunned, we can dodge. Normally, he's supposed to be dead, so. Yeah, that's it. So we use one more leap and pounce, just to die. Yeah. Normally, yeah, the rune hoof has much more HP than, than it's happened here. So, scenario for us is Eye Blast and a Chaos Beam. So, Eye Blast. You can stun us still, no. And just Chaos Beam. Now we just use Chaos Beam. And maybe Life Exchange if we survive. Yeah, we survived. Again, he should not live that long. It's just... That's how, how it's happened. Without stun, we do much more damage. And I blast. Yeah, we won. We won without uh, eye of observation. But yeah, scenario, usual scenario. I'll I'll just show you. Usual scenario looks like this. We leap. 
Yeah, first path is the same. So leap, leap, dodge. Leap. And pounce. Runhoof comes in and slap us hard. No? Okay. So we spam leap twice. And dodge. And leap. And bounce. Okay, so it is usual scenario, it seems. Damn. I did not expect that much damage, but yeah. I blast. And Chaos Beam. Now we can use Third Pet. Let's do Life Exchange if we survive. No, we won't. We did. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. I blast. Chaos Beam, I mean. And I blast. Life Exchange is, is, is beast. It's so. Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay. Blink Strike. And just blink. I mean, lens flare and blink strike. Well, as you can see, this fight is it's easy. It's it's glitter dust, and fight is easy. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. Hope you get it the same result as I did. Tanya. For her, we use Eye of Observation with Arcane Blast, Lens Flare, Blink Strike. Eldritch Mana Fiend with Arcane Blast, Surge of Power, Soul Rush. And anything that good against Beasts, Hexer is nice with Chaos Beam, but I choose to use Enchanted Broom with Butter and Wind Up. It is an honor. Now we use... Oh, we can get sleep here, so... RNG happens. Just continue. Lens Flare. Arcane Blast. And now we perhaps can get swapped, so we use Blink Strike. Because it's always good first. Yep. And Soul Rush. Now we spam Arcane Blast. And Surge of Power. Use, use his soul, uh, Surge of Power. And we bring Broom. Wind up twice. And wind up twice. And now butter. This fight has few variations, but it's it's very simple, really. Let's take on Scylla with legs, with pump and whirlpool, a cursed hexer with her king blast rain blood and weakness, and sanctum carb with pounce, stone skin and black claw. Start with Whirlpool. And pump twice. There is no chance on fourth attack, otherwise we would just surge of power, but yeah, life. Now we bring uh, a cursed hexer. And arcane blast. And Arcane Blast again when Fang comes in. 
Now we use weakness. And drain blood. Arcane blast. Yay! And arcane blast again. Sanctum cap comes in. We use stun skin. Black claw. Oh, we missed black claw. Yeah, forgot about that. We use black claw again. Yeah, the, the blind poison once happen and pounce. Normally crit doesn't happen, we just use pounce again, but that's the uh, end of Scylla. Caregiver Maximilian. To defeat Mr. Caregiver, we will take lesser void color, same as on my world quest uh, video, with Shadow Shock. Prismatic Barrier, Curse of Doom, Mini Months Mind Slayer with Mana Surge, Amplify Magic, ah, come on, and Life Exchange, and Hydro Wisp with Feedback, Evanescence, and Wish. We start with Curse of Doom. Oh, crit was mean. And prismatic barrier. Now we pass. And shadow shock. Shadow shock again. Very nice. Sometimes Shadow Shock crits and we face Bone Crusher without Curse of Doom. And Bone Crusher sometimes kill Void Color. If that happens, yeah, you have to restart. Okay, Curse of Doom. And we die. Now we pass, one turn, we use Amplify, and Life Exchange. And now Mana Surge. Hydro Wisp comes in. We use Evanescence. And use Feedback. Twice. And now Wish. We should get Swap now. Yep. And Mind Slayer comes in. He got healed. Uh, he gonna fly up. So amplify. No, he didn't. Oh, now he gonna fly up. Okay, we just mana search whatever. He will hit us, but we will hit him too. Even stronger. And it's done! Caregiver down! And hardest from them all, Pharaoh. Pharaoh is mm, difficult. A lot of RNG involved there. And I tried this fight many, 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 many times, and it causes so many problems, so best results I have from this setup. Eye of Observation with Arcane Blast, Lens Flare, Blink Strike. <clears throat> Eye of Corruption, 
Nether Blast, Eye Blast, Life Exchange, and Mini Mind Slayer with Mana Surge, Inner Vision, and Life Exchange. How fares your hunt? Mm. If we get sleep here, we can restart. Yep, let's just stay ahead, restart. No point bother, no, no point bother, really. We start with Landslayer and restart again. Jeez. We will capture our prey. The wild hmm. has need of us. This this pet causes so much RNG because despite blind he can kill me. Ridiculous. And we spam Arcane Blast. Maybe we won't die. Okay. Uh, we uh, we used Lens Flare and just Arcane Blast now because we gonna die. We use Blink Strike. This always goes first, so this is abil this ability is awesome. Mm -hmm. I have Corruption comes in, and we use Eye Blast. And Nether Blast. Just spam it right away. Awesome. Okay, we use Nether Blast. And Life Exchange. And another blast. We die here, but it doesn't matter. Because we use Bana Search. And boom! Done. Sorry for the icons. I use Alt just to get experience for fights. Looks for four K per fight. It's awesome. And Stratios, another easy fight. I mean, compared to Maldraxxus, Bastion fights are so easy. But yeah, let's use Enchanted Pen with Quills, Evanescence, Forbidden Curse, Mini Mind Slayer with Mana Surge, Amplify Magic, I guess, yeah, Life Exchange, let's use it. However, no, let's go for Interrupting Gaze, because most likely we want to use some life exchange anyway, so interrupting gaze is just way better. Just to finish a uh, tiny hoof, yeah. And erudite mana fiend with arcane explosion in case something happened and we need to finish, and surge of power which is super powerful as it own. Well, okay. We start with evanescence. And spam quills until Shelby dies. I mean, we could use Forbidden Curse, but uh, it doesn't add that much. Yeah, it's RNG a little bit, but don't worry, it's easy. Okay, Forbidden Curse. Unless we get stunned. Which we did, then for body curse again. And now Evanescence. And we spam quills until we die on. Is it enough? 
No, it's not. I'm missing one. Oh my god. Let's interrupt the game. Oh, okay. Did it. Awesome. Okay, amplify magic. And just mana search. Thank you for Moonfall Light, which adds extra damage. Yeah. Sometimes you need a second one, uh, I mean the third one, sometimes you don't because stun can happen again. But as you can see, fight is super easy compared to like, don't they stick your fingers? Yeah. I decided to record Dunley and do it, despite not needing it, because it wasn't that hard as I expected. Uh, I used a Cursed Hexer with Arcane Blast, Rainblood Weakness, Enchanted Lantern with Beam, Illuminate Soul Ward, and Hydra Wisp with Arcane Blast, Evanescence Wish. I expect it to be harder, but it wasn't that hard. Okay, we start with weakness. Next, Arcane Blast. It's, it's all about to minimize damage. Um, weakness again. And blast again. Weakness. Now we can drain blood. We still have weakness, so awesome. And we stacked a little bit Arcane Blast, so Stink Dust come in, and we use, we just spam Arcane Blast. Uh, okay, we use Drain Blood, just to soak some damage. He still had dodge. Now we use illuminate. It's all work. And beam. Now we swap the and use the Vanessence and Wish and Spam Arcane Blast That's it Now we wait this pass and fight done wasn't that hard? To defeat Adius the Tormentor, we will use Enchanted Broom with Wind Up, other skills doesn't matter, Mini Mind Slayer with Mana Surge, Inner Vision, Interrupting Gaze, and Third Pet doesn't matter. It's super simple fight. We use Wind Up, now we use Health, which is 1, and Wind Up. Wind Up two more times, and Broom dies. We take Mind Slayer with Interrupting Gaze 
inner vision and mana search fight is done i hope you enjoy it i hope you found it useful i hope someone use it to actually do this achievement thank you for watching and till the next achievement thank you bye